All right, guys, so this is the Vespa Ape, the P501. I'm gonna show you what you need to do every single time you drive it. So sway around with me to where the fuel tap is. The fuel tap is on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Uh, you're gonna see it's this red knob right here. Make sure that it is turned so it's flat in line with the fuel line. Straight up and down is off. That is on, just like that, okay? There's a fuel filter right there. If you see that become contaminated, you're gonna to wanna to change that. This is a premix vehicle, so you are gonna to wanna to mix uh, your oil with your gas on this vehicle. And if you can and it's possible, please only use 90 octane boat gas. You're not gonna to wanna to use ethanol-based gas in this vehicle. All right, so let's talk about starting it up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the key on. You'll see the power come up right there. The key has many positions. If you're turned all the way to the left, 11 o'clock, you can pull the key out, but the tail lights are on for safety. That will drain your battery. The next step, perfectly vertical, is off. One more tick to the right, she should be good to go. This is your parking brake. The first lever on the left is reverse. This is for your heat and this is for your choke. When you're ready to start, make sure the vehicle's in neutral. The best way to check the vehicle's in neutral, hit the starter button, let the clutch out a little bit, and make sure it's not lurching forward. Now, we didn't need much choke. This bike doesn't require a ton of choke to get it going, but you're just gonna hold that lever up and then feed it a little gas until it will idle on its own without the choke, okay? It doesn't take too long to warm up. It is a two-stroke, it moves along pretty good. Now, if you have this lever down, this lever will put the vehicle into reverse and you will be going backwards as soon as you put it in gear. So for now, let's just leave it in the up position. Go ahead and put your foot on the floor, foot on the floor brake, or that is the rear brake, okay? Uh, actually, it's all the brakes, but, so that's the hydraulic brake. Now, you're gonna pull the clutch in and you're gonna rotate to first. First is backwards, then neutral is in the middle, let, test it, let it out gently, and then second is down, okay? That's second gear. Now, you give a little bit of gas, and I'm in second gear right now. We don't have any load in this vehicle. So when I let the clutch out, it's gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna take it for a quick loop, show you how it goes. That's the spot between first and second. I'm gonna go ahead and engage reverse now by pushing that lever all the way down. Same thing, I'm gonna to go to second gear and I'm gonna let the clutch out slowly. Now be careful of what's behind you and as you let the clutch out, it will back up just like it's supposed to. Again, for finding neutral, take it out. It's better to engage reverse when the vehicle's in neutral and has some play so that the gears don't clash. We're gonna go ahead and put it into neutral. If it doesn't go into neutral, don't force it to stretch out the cables. Let the clutch out a tiny bit, pull the clutch back in, and then go for neutral again. The clutch in this vehicle is very stiff, but it is not impossible. You just have to be tough. When you're done driving, all you have to do is turn the key to the off position, and the bike will shut off, okay? If you have the key in a position where the key does not come out, you are still powered on if you're on the right-hand side. So straight up and down, no lights are on, you can take the key out. Turn signals are on your right-hand side, that's turn signals there. High beam and low beam is right there, and then this is your horn, okay? When you're not driving the vehicle, we're gonna step out, we're gonna put on our parking brake, and we're gonna come back here and we're gonna turn our fuel tap to the off position, just like that. So when we're parking the vehicle, and it's not even a bad idea to run the thing for a while and let the fuel pressure get out of the fuel line before you shut it off. All right, that's the care and feeding of your P501 Vespa Ape.